So next I'm gonna show you Icon. This group is not necessarily as well known uh, amongst uh, Western audiences as BTS and Blackpink. But for me, they're actually one of the, the best groups out there musically. They dropped a great album this year called Return and uh, this was the hit song off it. It's potentially gonna be song of the year in, in South Korea. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely blend of the, those traditional pop sounds, more Western sounds, but there's also a little bit of a groove and, and uh, uh, the funk, which is uh, reminiscent of some of the more Bruno Mars uh, tracks. So this is a uh, love scenario. Let's go, Alonzi. I just love the instrumental to this it's a good and uh, the music video is I so fantastically shot. Yeah, the, 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 the aesthetics of the music video are so retro and oh, I love it. Look how well that is shot. I like it. So this group in general have a lot of hip hop influence. They have two really fantastic rappers, Bobby and Bi, who I they're really really like. They're and they're like, um, but it's they're quite swaggy. They're, they tried to be very different for this comeback. Uh, some of their other music has been very hip hop focused. This is a bit more pop heavy, and it did incredibly, incredibly well. And this is my personal favourite music video of the year so far. I think the music video itself is such an interesting watch, but it's also so simple, it's so focused on uh, the dancing rather than dancing showing so you, good. showing you, you know, incredible shots. You know. There's no water in here. So that transitions so much better than it's any so other smooth, song. Isn't yeah. it? And they bring in these vocals, and they're really good vocals, and they, they just bring this different genre blend almost. Do you like the percussion, the way they bring in the drums and they utilize uh, the hi hats and stuff? I don't know what that means. Uh, it's part of the drum set. He's the best looking. <laughs> I don't actually know his name, I'm afraid. Don't know the, the members of this group quite as well as some others. It's such a simple music quite video happy. and it's so positive. It's, it's, it's a little bit of an anthem, if you know what I mean. It's it's so eternally positive, and it's it's something you can just pump out. It's not necessarily clubby or things like no, that. No, you it's, just listen to it. Yeah, puts you in a good mood. And I love the effects they put in the voice here. That the, was a good song. Yeah, the the blend of piano with that percussion that. Uh, almost uh, hypnotic metronome uh, sound. It's, it's, it combines to make this great, great piece of music. Yeah, I really um, like So this song obviously was hugely, hugely popular. It's not necessarily so popular uh, like in, in the Western countries like BTS and Blackpink have been, but it's huge, absolutely huge in, in South Korea. And I, I actually personally think it, it's probably one of the best songs to be released this year so far. What did you think of it in general? Any highlights? All of it. There was one bit I liked, the transition. The transition into the vocals. When the guy was like with his arms. Like, <laughs> um, I think that was good. And it's a song you can just listen to. The yeah, it's, it's such an phones. easy, fun listen, isn't it? I'd say that was my favourite one. Yeah. 
Yeah. The, and the music video was cool, and I just love the the fashion. Yeah, it's yeah no, they did a really good job on the aesthetic front, and not going uh, too crazy for a song like that. Like you know, Blackpink was like really extreme. Yeah, like it was properly Im- immersive, but also quite a lot. Um, so what would you give that Anna ten? You're saying you liked it maybe more than the BTS track? Well, let me do that. Um, let me do that again. Because <laughs> I was yawning. Yeah. I've yawned a lot, you know. You're it's, gonna fine. Find lot. it's fine. It's okay. fine. Um, so what would you? give it out of 10 because you're saying you probably liked it more than the Blackpink and BTS track but uh no yeah I did I would say that was probably my favourite one yeah nine and a half nine and a half I would That's... listen I would listen to that I liked the you know I don't understand what they're saying the tune of it is yeah it's, it's like healing. when I listen to a Spanish song I don't understand what they're saying but you can you just you're in the mood you're, like the there's beat. such a great feeling to yeah, it yeah it's a good feeling yeah, yeah. 